I'm here back with another tutorial. Uh, someone requested that I do a auto-tune tutorial. And auto-tune is a pitch correction plugin. A lot of artists use auto-tune. For example, T-Pain, his whole career is auto-tune. I recorded some vocals over a beat that I downloaded from a guy named O'Brien Music. Now, I'm going to remove all the effects so you can hear what it sounds like. No auto-tune or anything. Here we go. <laughs> As you can hear, it sounds horrible. I cannot sing. It sounds terrible. Now I'm going to show you guys what it sounds like with the auto tune on. Hear the difference. <laughs> You guys can hear the complete difference it sounds a lot better it's not as bad all right I'm gonna go into how I have everything set up I'm gonna go in through the pitch correction control first uh, I have the retune speed set to 11 now the retune speed was how hard it comes in on it if you want that t-pain effect to set it all the way to uh, zero I have mine usually like around 12 11 uh, the humanize I usually keep on zero humanizing is where it's more of your natural voice than auto-tune I usually just keep that off for vibrato I, I don't usually do any vibrato when I sing since I can't sing I just keep it on zero uh, pinch amount amplitude amount and format pitch amount on zero uh, amplitude amount on zero format uh, I got the rate on zero uh, all the way to the left uh, onset delay zero vibration zero and onset rate zero important parts of it the key. Well, I hear a lot of songs with auto-tune and they're off key. This beat in particular was in B minor. To find the key of a song, it's really not that hard. Just get a piano, mess around till you hear the right key. And most uh, R&B songs, rap songs are either in minor or major scale. Uh, set it to whatever one it is. This one happens to be in, in B minor. Another important part is the tracking. The tracking is how auto-tune is going to take over the vocals. What I mean by that is, is it going to come in real choosy? Is it going to correct it automatically all the way? I usually don't turn it all the way up unless I really want that T-Pain effect to choosy. I usually keep it around 75, 60-ish uh, to make it more relaxed so it doesn't sound as robotic. Right now it's on 77. I have the uh, input type on alto tenor. I usually have it on soprano. I turned the format on this time for this one to uh, change my vocal pitch. The throat length was activated. It makes it more high pitch. My voice is a little bassy, so I turned it up just a little bit to around 86. It gave it more of that high pitch sound. That's pretty much it for the settings. There is another plugin that I use with AutoTune when I'm messing with vocals. It's called Newtone. But Newtone is a uh, plugin within FL Studio. It's like AutoTune, but it's more having your notes on key. Let me go ahead and uh, reset this stuff so you can see what the notes look like naturally. As you see here, the waves, the waves here, these are me going way off key. The more straight of the lines, the more on key I will be. It's real simple to use. If you see here on the top right, center, variation, and transitions, change the center and turn it all the way up. It puts it more on key look here you see how it's moving you see how it that's where i am when i'm singing this is where it should be so i usually turn it up not all the way on 80 75 ish percent the variation the red lines on how on key i'm going to be but when i turn it to the left you see how the red lines get straighter now most people would put it straight me i don't like it to be extremely straight, straight so i just turn it to the left a little make it a little off Transition is when it goes into that next the next wording, the next note, as you can see here, where the red lines are a little up and down. Just turn them up just a little bit, like halfway, about 45, 50%. When it goes off to another note, it doesn't sound robotic. Uh, let's check it out with effects with new tone. That's about the best. Say it's not about the best. Sounds a lot better from what you heard before. This right here, the drag selection, 
just drag it out into FL Studio, into the, the step sequencer, and then throw my auto-tune effects on it to make it sound even better. I don't sound too much off-key and there's not too much roboticness going on. Pretty much it for uh, auto-tune. It's, it's a great, it's a great plugin. Get that T-Pain effect or trying to correct your vocal. Just because you have auto-tune doesn't mean it's gonna come out great. You still have to try to be more on key. The more off key you sound, the more it's auto tune is going to try to correct it. You want to be a little on key so it doesn't have so much trouble fixing it. I'm going to end it here. If you guys need anything else, just let me know what other plugins you want me to go over and explain. Peace.